Let's turn attention to what's happening on the currency markets. The trends that we've seen recently continuing again today, that's uh, the yen weak against most things and then the dollar uh, up against the yen but weaker against everything else. Dolly yen moving up to 117.29 at the moment. Euro dollar back up to 142. Cable steady at 204 and Euro yen moving high at 166.66. Joining us for more, Peter Rosenstrike, Chief Market Analyst at ACM, Advanced Currency Markets. Peter, thanks for joining us. After the uh, BOJ vote uh, today me. on interest rates, uh, the yen weakening once again, uh, um, just how much weaker do you think it's going to get from here? Well, I don't think it's going to go too much um, uh, lower. I think uh, the BOJ is uh, once again showing that they're not ready to raise rates, and, and the market's uh, taking that in stride. You know, they're looking for three main points uh, for sustainability of economic growth, for deflation area pressures to sort of uh, separate, and for the stability in, in the financial markets to really settle down. Until they get those three components, the, you know, the chances of a Fed uh, interest rate hike are sort of off the table. And I don't think we're going to see that until uh, 2008. And that's going to continue for uh, pressure on the Japanese yen. Peter, hi. This is Christine here. Does this further reinforce yen weakness based on the yen carry? I think so. I think so. I think without that real fear that the uh, BOJ is going to step in, it was it was basically a, a unanimous vote except for one member. Uh, without that fear of an uh, interest rate hike, then I think the uh, carry traders will continue to use as a, the primary funding uh, currency. Um, the, the interesting thing is what, what happens here in, in terms of uh, dollar, because they, they, both dollar and yen, um, Peter, mm -hmm. I sort of mentioned at the beginning, sort of been vying to be right. the weakest currencies. Is there any change to that going <laughs> to happen? Well, you know, that, that's a great question. You know, I think recently the fact that the euro um, and dollar hasn't really had too strong momentum on the upside is starting to give uh, way for perhaps some dollar strength. I think um, there's a lot of fear in, in regards to, uh, well, not so much fear, but build up in terms of the, the G7 meeting, um, and that's going to play well. I think the, the um, numbers we're getting out of the eurozone are, are positive, meaning that Trache may have to uh, sort of uh, tone down the hawkish comments, taking the interest rate off the, off the uh, table, as well as, you know, uh, the sort of a lot of the uh, base uh, for dollar selling uh, is already out there in the marketplace. So with the speakers coming out and, and talking about inflation uh, that we saw yesterday, we could start seeing perhaps some dollar strength in the next couple of days. Peter, it's Michelle here in the United States. But what if the retail sales data comes out today particularly weak? People are going to discount that for the weather or is that going to lead to fears about the consumer? <laughs> That's going to lead to uh, fears about the consumer. There is a lot of uh, fear in the U.S. dollar, and any uh, bad economic news, uh, news excuse me, um, primarily uh, around the U.S. consumer will lead to significant uh, dollar selling. I'm, I think I'm, I'm pretty secure in, in the uh, consumer in the U.S., and I think that retail number is going to come in, out as expected. Uh, meanwhile, Peter, of course, you know, after the, the falls back in August, the, the commodity currencies bounced back up again. Will, will you still be playing? Mm -hmm. Long, be long of those here? Absolutely. I think the Aussie dollar is perhaps one of the best plays in the currency markets right now. Despite the mixed uh, unemployment data that we saw last night, I think the commodity story still uh, comes into play. I think the RBA still has room for additional hike to uh, 6.75. And I think the Aussie is one of the strongest currencies out there right now. Peter, good. And as, as, as long so, Yeah, sorry. sorry finish. I was just going to say, as long as we stay above the 90 handle, I think uh, we'll still really feel bullish on the currency. Thanks, Peter. Peter Rosenstrike joining us from Advanced Currency Markets.